How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Ranked Report. This week we are using a team built by uh, Raykina on Twitter um, and he used this team to get to top 16 of the Hong Kong Nationals uh, recently and it features Skeledurge, who I love. I think Skeledurge is very very cool um, but he isn't the most viable generally, like there's a lot of strong water types and ghost types and dark types running around at the moment, um, which makes his place in the meta a little bit shaky, but this one is built around being a bit of a stall engine alongside Wochen and Glamora, um, so I think the key strategy with Skeletor on this team is you want to either paralyze things with Gyarados or poison them with Glamora um, through Mortal Spin or Toxic Debris. Um, and then you can start firing off Torch Songs to boost your special attack, and you've got Hex as well, um, which does double damage to any targets with a status condition. Uh, so, like I said, the Thunder Wave and the Poison from Grimora are going to really boost that. Um, we've got standard Booster Energy Iron Bundle. It does have Encore over Icy Wind. Normally, if you see Encore on these team, uh, on these sets, uh, it'll replace Hydro Pump, so it'll normally be like Freeze Dry, Icy Wind, Encore Protect. This one instead drops Icy Wind. Which I think on this team makes some sense, because the only Pokemon that really benefits from Icy Wind here is Fluttermane. Um, and all can, can be very nice to set up traps, uh, stop Protect, stop Fake Outs, that kind of stuff. Um, and then like I kind of briefly highlighted there, the Fluttermane as well, uh, Choice Specs, relatively standard set, Terra Fairy. I find a lot of the time on spec sets, uh, I quite like a defensive Terra type, but Terra Fairy also makes sense just to be able to hit things incredibly hard. Um, so this one's standard. Moonblast has an Illusionable Thunderbolt. We've got Gyarados, again pretty standard, we've got Iron Head over the usual Protect here, so the most common Gyarados set is Waterfall, Thunder Wave, Taunt, Protect, this one has Iron Head uh, and is Terra Steel, um, that just gives you a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra bite into like opposing Flutter Mains for example, and Iron Head has a slightly higher flinch chance than Waterfall as well, so if you go into Parrot Flinch strats then uh, Iron Head is technically slightly more optimal there. Um, We've got Terra Poison Wochen, very, very standard. Um, Leech Seed, Pollen Puff, Protect, you'll see on pretty much every Wochen set. This one has Foul Play rather than something like Giga Drain or Taunt, you sometimes see in that last slot. Um, and lastly, we have here Glamora. Uh, again, very standard Glamora set. Double Stab, Earth Power, and Mortal Spin, Terra Grass with Assault Vest. Um, some of these sets you'll see um, Energy Ball over one of the three attacking moves, um, but usually it's kind of these three attacks and Mortal Spin. And you've got a few ways of going for like a, a side proc, like well, you want one way of going for a side proc here. You can go like Wochen side foul play into Glamora to get your uh, toxic spikes up. Anything else, not really ideal. You don't want to be hitting it with Waterfall or Iron Head from Gyarados, obviously both super effective. Um, you can Terrasalize your Glamora to do that if you want, I guess. But um, yeah, the option's there for like side foul play with Wochen if you want. Yeah, like I said, the uh, the coolest thing about this team is the Skeledurge. Um, it's got safety goggles that's to get around Amoongus, because one thing that could stop a like a defensive setup Pokemon like Skeledurge would be just getting put to sleep or getting redirected. Um, so safety goggles lets you get around that. Um, and then Slack Off gives you recovery. I imagine this thing's built pretty bulky. Um, you've got Intimidate on Gyarados and all that jazz. Um, so yeah, I think this should be a very interesting team to use. Um, I've not used Skeledurge, I think, since series one or regulation eight whatever you want to call it um so yeah let's uh let's see how it goes let's jump into some battles all right for our first opponent of the day we've got someone rocking a star raptor this is interesting um one thing to know here these are all physical mons um apart from the golden go so i can potentially abuse that a little bit with um with the Glamora here. I was like, I want to see what the... the okay, so, yeah, very defensive, that makes sense. Um, could potentially have used that to get laser T-spikes up. Um, Wochen also, and Gyarados seem pretty good into that. I need something to do with the... Um, the Golden Go. I've got Earth Power on this. I've got Falcon as well, so I'm great. I kind of feel like I need it because, like, I'd love to bring Glamora, Wojen, Gyarados, and um, Skeldurge, but I need something to deal with the Golden Go. Is Skeldurge even that good here? They've got a ground type, a dark type. Wait, oh, sorry, they've got three dark types, one of which is also a ground type, and then they've got a Golden Go, which outspeeds and can KO it. 
with or without Terra. Yeah, maybe I don't bring the that guy. Let's do. Let's do this maybe. Glamora, uh, Fluttermane, Wochen, Gyarados. I think makes some sense here. I kind of wish I could bring Skeletor here, but it just feels like it's got a very unfavorable match into a lot of this team. Um, despite the vast number of physical Pokemon, um, which I can kind of abuse with Gyarados and with uh, with Wochen, there's just four type matchups. And we see, yeah, okay, we see Star Raptor and um, Golden Go. So I'm assuming what this is going to be is um, like Scarf Brave Bird on Star Raptor. So I may need to just commit Terra early here and go Earth Power into the Golden Go and switch into Gyarados, I guess. They could try and make the hardest score in the world and go for a um, final Gambit to my Glamora, but that seems like unnecessarily risky for my opponent. The problem with this is if they are Scarf, um, what was I saying? If they are Scarf, uh, Star Raptor, then oh, I guess maybe I should just switch Gyarados into the um, Flutter main slot. Oh, this is turn. oh, I could just kill the Golden Go. That's annoying. That's annoying. I could just kill the Golden Go. All right. Um, comes out. That's great damage on the Golden Guard, actually. And you can make it rain. Okay, um... Okay, it feels like Golden Go switches here, right? That's just the vibe I'm getting. I kind of want a Mortal Spin to catch a switch and just taunt the uh, Grim. I really feel like Golden Go's gonna switch here. At minus one, facing down a Pokemon that's faster than it and can KO it with Earth Power. And a Gyarados that can't re-hit. Really they have Star Raptor in the back as well if they want to try and switch that in. Um, which they do. I could have gone for a Power Gem actually trying hard read a Star Raptor. It is Star Raptor coming in, yeah. So I did have the option to make that read, which maybe I should have done, but I think this play still works out okay. I'll bite green, yeah. Then, big damage. Oh, this also means I can't paralyze the Star Raptor. Yeah, this is actually not a good play for me. Because I can't now paralyze the Star Raptor. Mm. I mean, Brave Bird into Glamora is kind of forced here, so I can probably punish that. I guess they could U-turn into Glamora. I think either way I want to waterfall this slot with, um... I can't really switch in on this. I have nothing that switches in on it. Um, so I guess I'll just go Power Gem and Waterfall into Star Raptor. Okay, let's go for another U-turn. It can kill. It doesn't. Okay. That could be nice. Okay, I want to start preserving Gyarados here, because I'm going to need Intimidates on Star Raptor for the end game, I think. Dengo comes back in. So Dengo dies here, which is really good, because that was the, probably the biggest obstacle on this team for me. I think Dengo dies here, anyway. Does Waterfall pick that up? It might not. It doesn't. Okay, I've got two layers of T-Spikes up, but that's kind of irrelevant, because... Well, I guess there's one Pokemon in the back who's... Currently, only regularly poisoned. Um, um, I feel like that's in range of a specs, doesn't gleam, even through reflect, right? Or through light screen. So, I think one of the others are going to re I can go for a Specs Gleam and switch out. Yeah, that's in range, for sure. Um, I can go Specs Gleam and I can switch out my Gyarados into this guy, which lets me start resetting Intimidates on the back end. Okay. 
worst case is Grimmsnarl lives this, which I think is possible. Um, just given that light screen's up and doesn't leave not an immensely strong move, it's possible Grimmsnarl lives this. Um, and then I get like Spirit Broken, which could be a little bit annoying, but it's certainly workable still. Okay, Gyarados goes out, so either no switches or my Gyarados is faster than Golden Go. Either one is fine. Okay, Gyarados is faster than Golden Go, that's very good to know. In comes Tinglu. Tinglu is badly poisoned, that's really, really good for me. That's insanely good for me. Grimstall goes out, so Star is going to take a chunk of damage here as well, actually. This is fine. Now I've got three Gyarados switching. Yeah, this is this is not going to be a very strong uh, Dazzling Gleam here. That's not irrelevant damage. I thought I was going to weak this one for a second. It's lefties. Lefties is fine. Um... Dazzling Gleam off and Star Raptor goes down. I think I'm kind of safe to just finish this off with, um, with Gyarados Tingling. So I think I'm just going to get an Intimidate down so I can tank a Brave Bird here from what I'm presuming is Scarf. Um, Scarf Star Raptor. Um, I'll get some extra damage down on Tingling and I think I should be able to clean up as the Brave Bird. Oh, they break up into the Wojen. I guess they thought the um, Gyarados might come in on the other slot. This could still be heavy slamming to Fluttermane, mind you. But I think I... S do I survive it? Depends on the Fluttermane build. I do. Okay, good. Yeah, that's nice. Um, okay, Tingly gets a little bit of health back with lefties. And now the Poison starts to overtake lefties' recovery. They cannot bring in Golden Go here because we've seen that it is slower than my Gyarados. Um, they can bring in Golden Go here, apparently. Um, that's fine. Um, I will Gleam again because that's the only option I have. And I guess I'll, I'll watch for the Dengo in case it survives. Okay, they just protect. That's fine. They'll carry my Flutter here, but. I'm pretty sure the Tingle will go down to the toxic damage. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, I guess this does open up a lose condition, right? If it's if it's T-Wave Grimmsnarl. Hmm. Yeah, okay, hold on. This isn't over by any means. Okay, the poison takes up Tinglu. Hmm. Well. I'm just going to leech seed the Grimstall here, um, and waterfall the Golden Go. They go for the double, which makes sense. Um, I guess they can have a slow down Gyarados. Um, need to connect, that's okay. Nice. No nice spirit break, but I mean, they shouldn't do very much. I did more than I thought. Did it? Actually, no, that makes a lot of sense for the amount of damage that does. <laughs> I forget the Grimstar has a pretty high attack stat still. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's game over now. I can protect all this. It will eventually die. Um, I think 
Gyarados. Sure, and then taunt the Grim Snarl. Yeah. It doesn't really matter what I do there. I could have also gone for... I probably should have gone for Iron Head, actually, there, but... Alright, we'll take that. That was a bit of a weird one, because I, I spent the entire game just having to play around the Golden Go and the um, Star Raptor. Fortunately, they didn't get aggressive with Star Raptor early game. If they'd gotten aggressive with Star Raptor, I could have been in a lot of trouble there. Um, so I just had to bank on them, on my opponent not playing aggressive, which I kind of got away with. But, right. Let me think, if they just Brave Birded that slot turn one, I guess I, I could have gone for the play there where I switch in Gyarados so that I tank the Brave Bird and then Shadow Ball the Golden Go, I think might have been a nice play there. But... I didn't see it before I clicked my moves, so why is there a Stantler and a Meditite here? What the hell does Meditite do? I'm going insane. Something is wrong here. Um, <laughs> this could be a good skill dodge game, actually. I'm probably just a zoom roll. Is that like, like skill swap or something? He's going to start skill swapping things around. I think, yeah, I think Skeletor is good here. And then, I don't hate the idea of bringing Glamora, because it's very good to talk all, mostly. Um, hmm. I don't think Intimidate is that useful here from Gyarados. The, I imagine their lead's going to have either Fake Out or, like, Mental Herb or something, uh, if they want to get Trick Run up. Did I lead Wochen? Nah, at least we really need to talk about. I think I do just lead Glamora. Like, the, the match meant to talk about, I think, is worth it. And then this guy, and probably this guy. I think it makes sense. I don't think Gyarados is that useful here. Let's try this. This is a weird, weird team. I don't know what Meditite Stantler is doing. I imagine I'll find out very soon. Stantler will be, like, Intimidate and Skill Swap, probably. I know people love Intimidate Skill Swap. Um... I'm gonna meditate and paragraph. Fine. Um, I do have the option to go for. I feel like Torchon's just my best bet here, right? The other option I have is I go for like Hex and Mortal Spin. I'm assuming there's no. Actually, there's no way to slow. I can Hex this thing and Mortal Spin both. They do fake out my Gamora, that's okay, I think, because I get a Larity Spikes up, which was kind of the big thing there. And uh, Debris. It's Life Orb. Okay, well, it's dead. I guess they probably actually wanted this thing off the field as soon as possible. Maybe that's a bad move. Because now they just get Trick Room and Torkoal. Uh, that's not terrible. Torkoal's not that threatening here. I just got for torch on last turn, but we go. Um, Torkoal will be poisoned when it comes in, which is nice. It's Azu. Okay, that's actually a bit scarier. Um, so the question now is who do I Trastalize? I could switch into Wochen here. I think that's pretty safe, honestly. Yeah, neither of these two Pokemon. Well, unless they go for a Fairy Moon Skeletor, but I think I can do this and then just go for a Sludge Bomb to Azu is maybe my best bet. Because Terragrass saves me from the onslaught of super effective attacks going on there. I'm guessing this is probably Terra Azu. Yeah. Uh, Terra normal. Okay, well, good thing I didn't go for a hex. I don't think they probably are going for my Glamora. If you're translating defensively around. Well, I guess you could just be trying to avoid this life one. Why is Terra normal in Azu, though? Like, double edge? Am I gonna get hit by like a choice band double edge? Is that what's happening here? No, it's really invasion. Okay. It's fine. And they side shock. I don't think side shock sets off Toxic Debris, does it? No, it doesn't. It would be cool if it did, but it doesn't. Unfortunately. Um, I 
Oh, I never got a more spin off, did I? Um, I forgot, I think not. Um, hmm. Leech this, and then. Could bring Skeletor back in. I don't actually sack them more, but I think I like the Skeletor switcher. Yeah, just give the options to protect through Dripping Turns. Which I think is valuable here. Skelly Dirge. Oh. Why? Why are you that? Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, I might just double protect this turn, it's lazy, but I don't think my opponent can necessarily punish it particularly hard. Oh, Are they worried about like burns from Arcline or something? Yeah, there's a liquidation here, it's fine. Also fine. I will get a chunk of recovery back here. some damage down on Pharaoh Giraffe. I kind of don't mind sacking either of my Pokemon here, to be honest. I think it's more important that I get damage down um, on the Giraffe, so that I can stop it from setting up TR this next turn. I'm just going to double the Pharaoh Giraffe, as weird as this looks. Yeah, they don't go off Skeletor, it's because they're worried about the Wochen, so this probably kills. Yeah. It's fine. And part of me was tempted just to hard switch the... Um, my plus main into that slot, but I think I'd rather have just gotten guaranteed damage in case they double down on the skill dodge. Because yeah, double down that would have killed. Torch Song hits. Into this guy. It's in range of Moonblast. I don't know if that's in range of, I don't think that's in range of Gleam, I'll be honest with you. Um, goes back to normal. I think I have to get plus main here on Moonblast anyway. Um, and then I can Torch Song the Azu. I should probably more. Uh, I, don't get, I don't want to get hit by liquidation. They can aqua jet me, but I'd rather. They probably do aqua jet me here, actually. I could have gone for slack off. Okay, they don't aqua jet. The reason why I torched them over slack off there was just in case they tried to go for like a liquidation. Um, I didn't want to have to tank that. Torch them just guarantees that the Azure goes down. Plus, it gives me another special attack boost, which is nice. Um, okay, that's fine. Trick room is successfully stalled out. Uh, we've got a layer of key fights up. We've got Flossman in position. We've got a Scale Dirge who is a plus two and ready to hex everything. And also isn't on screen. Oh, Talk is dead. Talk is big dead here. Here we go, the That's fine. She powers up my Torch Song. Oh, it powers up my Fluttermane as well. Oh, no. You've cooked yourself. It's just Talk all left. Yeah, that's game. Wait, he's like, oh, I killed the Meditite that was there for some reason. Yeah, that's game. Nice. Two wins for the Skeletorge team. We love to see it. Um, yeah, so Skeletorge actually ended up being kind of useful in that last game. Um, admittedly, a lot of the damage was just done by poison. Um, 
but still, like, Skeletor just sat there and set up and would have one-shot that Torkoal in the end game. Plus two, a Hex is always taken out of a Poison Torkoal. There's no way it lives that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the first episode. Uh, this team has been kind of fun. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. I think I do just kind of like Woe Chamber Mora. I don't think it's necessarily that great, but I like it, so I'm having fun using it. Um, and I definitely like this take on it, the Skeletor Urge, um, which is something I'd kind of very briefly considered a while ago and then just kind of threw it away because... I didn't think it was that great, I didn't have enough time to try and optimise it. Um, but yeah, fun team. Um, as always, if you want to use it, link to it will be, well, link to it, the uh, rental code will be in the description. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. As always, thank you all for watching, uh, and I will... Oh, wait, hold on, before I go, I forgot. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like, um, and sub to the channel if you haven't already, and also go follow me on Twitch, link to that in the description, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.